Creative Fabrica is a site where you can get fonts, graphics, all sorts of different crafty stuff. But in this video, I'm going to cover in the tool section, there's a tool called Font Cloud. It's completely free. And in this video, three reasons why I love it, and you should too. Okay, now if you've never heard of FontCloud before, today's your lucky day. I'm on creativefabrica.com. I've signed into my account. Again, this is a completely free tool. So all I'm doing is I'm scrolling along the top menu and then I get to tools and then I select the first tool, which is FontCloud. Now I'm just at the welcome screen. Again, I'm logged in. I can just click this open FontCloud button right down on the lower left-hand side. And that brings me now to my page inside of FontCloud. Now on the left-hand side, I've got all of my different fonts that I've installed from my computer. I've actually got 256 fonts installed and I'm still working through them because I've probably got about 800 sitting on my computer. So this is a great tool for me. And I can say this from experience because I recently bought a new laptop. I've got a couple, you know, multiple computers that I use for different things and installing the fonts was a real chore because I didn't have one centralized location for all of my fonts. So this cloud-based system is really nice because you can go through and you can see, okay, I've got these installed. Maybe I installed them yesterday. Maybe I installed them a couple years ago. It also gives me a preview of all the different fonts that I've got on the computer. And there's this preview thing here at the top. So if I type in a phrase, it will actually show me all of the different fonts with that phrase. So I can Com, you know, compare, contrast and compare what I like. It's very easy to use and it's really cool. So let's say you want to install a font. So here I am on Creative Fabrica. I just went under fonts. I'm just looking through the popular ones for this week. There's actually 61,000, almost 62,000 fonts available. I like this one here, this gemstone graffiti font. So I'm going to click on that. And now to download, I'm just going to click the download button right here. It's going to give me a zip file. I'm just going to save this now to my computer in the fonts folder that I just got set up. So I'm just going to click save. And now I can see here I've got my gemstone font sitting in this zip folder. I'm just going to double click the zip folder and it gives me a couple open type fonts. So I'm just going to copy those into my fonts folder. Gemstone is the name of the font. I'll click paste. And now I've got them in there. Now I can install them on my computer, no problem. So I'm just going to click on them. So here's the font. I'll just click install. And that's all there is to it. I'll click the other one as well, the outline. And I'll click install. Now the problem is, I've got so many fonts here on my computer, I may not want to keep this on my actual computer. So I'm going to upload these now into the cloud, into Font Cloud. Okay, so I'm in Font Cloud now. And I can just install them over here on the bottom left hand side. I'm just going to click the browse button and here's my two fonts now that I can upload. So I can just highlight them both using the shift key. I can click open and now the fonts are getting installed. Here they are right here. So now I can click on the font and it will show me the font and all of the characters inside of the font, including the special characters, the quarter sign, the half sign, upside down question mark, a lot of European or, you know, symbols, that sort of thing. Here's the outline font, same deal. So another reason I really like this is that I can just click on it and it says character copied to clipboard. So now when I use something like say, Word or PowerPoint or some sort of application, I can now just paste this into the application. Here's Notepad, for example. I'm just going to do Control V and we can see now I've actually got that character. I'm just going to make it a little bit larger here so you can see it. That character is now just pasted in. I'm just going Control V and I'm just pasting it. Now I can actually select that font. If I was using Notepad, for example, I can just go Format, Font, and then I can scroll through all my million billion fonts here. So this is another reason why I like Font Cloud is I can clean up my fonts now that I've got on my computer. Maybe I just keep the 30 or 40 that I use all the time and I can keep these specialty fonts off in the cloud and I can just install them as I need to and then I can get rid of them so that I can keep my computer relatively clean. 
So you can preview an individual font. So for example, I could type in something like that and I can see the individual font or I can just close out here on the right hand side and I can see I'm back now to the beginning where I can type in whatever phrase I like. And we can see here it all pops up. So you can look at all of them or you can click on any individual font and you can see how it looks individually as well, which is really nice. So I hope you found that walkthrough helpful. Very quick one here. Font Cloud is free. It's on Creative Fabrica. Now I'm going to put a link down in the video description below. I do want to point out that the link is an affiliate link. So if you click on the link and you sign up to Creative Fabrica and you wind up actually buying something like one of the million fonts, they've got graphics, they've got a bunch of different you know, really nice graphics here. If you end up buying something, I would receive a small commission and you'd be helping support this site. But for today, this is a completely free tool and it's called Font Cloud. And I highly recommend it because of the ease of use, the cloud-based system, the font previewer, and you can pick special characters simply by just clicking them and it copies them right to the clipboard. Really nice, easy to use interface. Hope you guys found that helpful.